Hey guys, my name is Jessie and I'm from the store Sephora Hollywood in Highland. And if you want me to be really honest, I have super dry skin. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to recreate this dewy look for a night out. So let's start with this routine, guys. The first thing I'm gonna do to ensure that my makeup stays all day is going to be skincare. First thing I want to do is spray my Caudalie Beauty Elixir Water. This is gonna help me hydrate my skin. It's gonna help me ensure every product I put on afterwards gets to penetrate deeper and it gets to tone my skin. For the next step, I'm going to use the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel Eye Patches. These babies are great to put even if you want to do your eyes first before your makeup. Right now, I'm just gonna leave them in while I do my skincare. This is gonna get to help me hydrate my under eye area. It's gonna get to deep off and it's gonna get to create that nice firmness. So just get them right into uh, under your eyes and massage the rest of the product that is remaining under the eyes. So just softly do it with your ring finger so you don't create any pressure. And since this is a dewy skin look, I am going to be applying an under eye cream. So what I'm going to be using is going to be the Cores Black Pine 3D Sculpting Firming and Lifting Eye Cream. Just like the title says, this baby has black pine as well and it's going to get to give you that extra anti-aging results under the eye. So then again, apply it with your ring finger. You don't want to create too much pressure. Remember, no pulling nor tugging. Our under eye area is very delicate. You don't want to create any wrinkles. We want to stay young, fresh, and flawless. I also apply it over my eyebrows as well because my eyebrows tend to flake. They do have a little bit of texture. So a little bit under uh, my eyebrows, over my eyebrows, and uh, on my smile lines and on my lips just to get that extra anti-aging properties. So for my next step, I'm going to be using the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Serum. This serum is very lightweight. It feels like a dream. What you have to do is just warm it in your fingers and make sure you press it nicely. This is a serum that is going to get to tone your skin and deeply nourish it and hydrate it. And the best thing about it is that it absorbs really quickly. I always apply it and make sure you press it. You want to give it that pressing motion because you want those nice skincare ingredients to go deep into your skin. You don't want to miss a single beat. So I want to get my lips, just like my skin, dewy and prep before putting any lipstick on. I will be using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This is just going to get me that nice supple lips without any texture and it's also going to get to hydrate my lips. I have very dry lips. Guys, I have dermatitis. My skin is dry, head to toe dry. So I need to be focusing on everything that is gonna be very rich and very hydrating in the long run for me and this is one of the best products that I can use for that. So for my um, complexion as well, I'm gonna be using Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. I am obsessed with this moisturizer, guys. This gets to be very anti-aging and also it gets to plump my skin and hydrate it and it absorbs really quickly. You want to make sure that every product that you're using on skincare, it's not too emollient because you want that to feel lightweight and you want your skin to be glowing. You don't want it to feel heavy. The primer I'm going to be using for this look is called Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And with this primer, I will be also using, remember we want that dewy look to be flawless, it's going to be the Cores Wild Rose Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil. I cocktail this two together to get that extra hydration and that dewy look. I just make sure to um, apply it and press it into the skin so it absorbs faster. And I apply it everywhere, guys, even on my neck. Even if I don't apply any makeup on my neck, I always apply it there because it will give my neck hydration and that those anti-aging and brightening properties as well. One of the things I love using for my complexions are CC creams. The one I'm going to be using today is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream with SPF 50 plus, and it's in the shade Light. I'm also going to be using my Beauty Blender Mitt. This is a cleansing mitt. This is where you clean your brushes and when you clean your Beauty Blender. But I learned one of the coolest tricks, and if it is that if you wear it on your hands, you can apply any products on it and you won't waste a single drop of products, guys. You can apply your foundation, your primer, your moisturizer, everything you want to use, and you can just scoop it right in with your brush and apply it. So you want to start applying your foundation in the very center of your skin, in your cheeks, because most of the times that's where we have our redness, and we want to conceal that, and we don't want to put it 
on the lower sides first because if we put it on the lower side it's just going to be too pigmented and you might have to match the rest of the face and it might give you that mask effect so what you want to do is start from your cheeks and slowly blend everything on your um, forehead on your chin on your neck if it's necessary but this way it's just going to get to give you that nice even look without looking too heavy the brush I'm using for this uh, application is the number 47 from Sephora collection. We want to conceal, guys. We want to make sure on our under eyes are looking fabulous. And what I'm going to be using for that is going to be the Nude Sticks Concealer. It's called Concealer Pencil, and the shade is Light 3. What I do with this is I apply it under my eyes. I don't use as much. I love just using enough. I'm going to use it on the highlights of my face, which is the bridge of the nose, under my eyes, on my cupid's bow, maybe under my nose, on my chin. Those are going to be the areas I want to conceal so they look flawless and perfect. One of the things I love doing with my beauty blender is spraying it with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Water. And it's because it just gets to give me that extra hydration while I'm applying. And if I feel like it's too, my skin is getting too dry, it's just going to get to save me from that. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Holographic Stick in the shade Mars. This one is one of my favorites. Um, and if you want to get to achieve that glowy dual look, this is going to be a must have. I always apply it on the high um, points of my cheeks. I apply it on my um, cupid's bow, on, my br on the bridge of the nose, and I also apply it in my um, chin as well. I love looking like a little glazed donut. Don't judge me. I love it. I love looking dewy. And this is my favorite thing to do. So you do you, boo. So for my next step, I'm going to be using a contour palette from Kat Von D. This is called the Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I'm going to be applying this um, shade. It's called Lyric. I'm going to be using a powder brush just to lightly dust it into my skin so I can set that CC cream and it's ready to go for the contour. I'm going to slightly dust it in. I don't want to put too much product, guys. I don't want it to look heavy, cakey, or textured. I want it to look natural. So I'm applying little by little on the areas I know I am going to contour. Because, girl, I'm going to snatch this face in a couple of seconds. Now I'm going to be using the color Shadow Play. With this color, I am going to start defining my hollows of the cheeks. I'm also going to be warming up my forehead and my jawline as well. I also recommend, as a tip, when you apply this with your powder brush, just make sure you're using it from the ear to the front. You're taking everything from the very back of the ear to the front. You don't want to leave any weird gaps or spaces I'm just going to be repeating the next step on the other side of my face. And as you can see, I'm starting from the hairline to the front so it looks natural. Now I'm going to be warming up my forehead. As you can see, I'm already working out my hand. I'm just going to have one hand that is going to be very muscular and the other one is going to be very normal. But that's going to be fine because I'm going to be wearing long sleeves today. I'm also going to be applying it on my jawline. The tip for the jawline is make sure that you hide it behind your ears. If you put it in the jawline like where it barely starts and you're wearing, let's say, a high ponytail, it will show. So you don't want that. You want to look perfect, flawless, and you want it to look like it's yours. Okay? Um, the shade I'm going to be using to increase the darkness in my contour is going to be subconscious. I'm going to use this very little, guys. You don't want to put too much product on that powder brush because if you do, you're going to end up looking too much. So I always just get to apply a little bit of that darker shade on the very, very end of the contour. What I mean with that is I apply it close to my ears so it looks more defined but it doesn't look too heavy. So after highlighting and contouring, we want to give those cheeks a little bit of color. What I'm going to be using to achieve that is going to be the Too Faced Sweet Peach Papadome Peach Blush. I love this blush because it smells heavenly. First of all, it smells amazing. Go to your nearest Sephora and smell it. It's okay, we won't judge you. Everybody does. Um, and I always apply this uh, same with my powder brush. I just get a little bit of this product and I dust it in into my cheeks. I love smiling to make sure I know where the apples of the cheeks are. And this, you want to apply it from the front to the back. That way it just gets to um, blend away with your contour. It's just like it's hugging the highlight and saying hi to the contour. You want that to happen. I'm putting a little bit on my nose so it gives me that nice flush look like I'm so angelical. But it's a lie. Now, the next step is going to be very, very crucial, guys. This is going to define that dewy look 
the product I'm going to be using is called Sephora Collection Perfection Mist Nude Glow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shake this bottle up so everything gets to mix all together. And I'm going to put, I'm going to get to apply it. I'm not going to put it too close to the skin because I don't want to get it too close that it will, it will just get to um, compromise the the work I have done so far. I'm just going over on the higher points of my face, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, on the areas I want to look glowy. This is going to get to give you that beautiful glowy look without looking sweaty or without looking weird or oily. This is just going to get to give you that nice, subtle, beautiful glow. What do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? It's time for the eyes, guys. And first things first, we want to define the eyebrows. For my brows, I'm going to be using Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Soft Brunette. The first thing I'm going to do is use the spoolie to brush them. And then I'm going to start slowly filling in the very beginning of the eyebrow. And it's because I do have sparse areas in the very beginning of my eyebrows. I don't have spaces on the ends so i'm always gonna i'm always going to start whenever i do feel i need it the most in this case my very front part of the eyebrows and guys one of the tips i love to give when you're doing eyebrows make sure you brush them you want to take any excess off so it doesn't look too chalky or it doesn't get to look too squared or heavy or thick you want to brush them so they get to look natural and polished for my eye primer, I'm going to be using Marc Jacobs Beauty, the undercover eye primer. This gets to be very hydrating for your eye area. As I said before many, many times, my skin is very dry and I want to ensure my eyeshadow lasts all day and it doesn't crease or it doesn't smear and it gets to be that vivid color. And with this primer, you will achieve all of those. So let's get it popping with the eyes, guys. I'm going to be using Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. And the first thing I want to do is I want to set my primer. I'm going to be using the shade Latinus from this palette. And what I'm going to be doing is just slightly dusting it in with a fluffy brush. This can be also a crease brush. Um, the one I'm using is the one, um, the number 19 from Sephora Collection. So for my crease color, the shade I'm going to be using is Samuel. Um, this is just going to go into my crease. And what I'm going to be doing is applying it from the outer corner in. I want to keep that integrity and that shape of the eye. I don't want to elongate my smoky eye. I do love my smoky eyes when they are very kept into my eye. If you do want to elongate it, just make sure that you apply it the opposite way. You can start from the end and just stretch it out a little bit more. So for my third color, it's going to be the color Succubus. I'm going to be applying this color on my lid as well. I want to make sure that I'm already getting that nice smoky look with um, a nice color that gets to blending nicely with the crease as well. So I get to know and I get to map out how dark I want to go with my smoky eye. I am still using the number 19 brush for this step. It is just a matter of applying this over the eyes. So guys, let's get this smoking right now. I'm going to be using the color Chax. This is, the, of course, the matte black color in the palette. I'm also using my number 41 brush. This is a drawing brush. I love using this brush just to press colors in. You are going to be applying this product in your lash line so it gets to give you that smoky eye look. You blend that away. Blend, blend, blend. Let's get it. Same thing for the other side, guys. You're going to be applying this um, with your brush along the lash line. Remember, you want everything to start looking like a chimney. You see that in the chimney, the very bottom of it is very dark. And as soon as it goes up, it looks more light. So what you want to do is get to apply it on the very, um, the very corner of the lash line as well. So I'm going to be applying Succubus once again on my lower lash line. For this step, I'm going to be using Sephora Collection's number 18 brush. I want to define the lower lash line. I don't want to use a liner because it, it is going to be too harsh. What I'm using is a powder so it gets to look smoked out without getting to be very heavy. I'm going back with Chax on the under eye area. Remember, you want to get to create that nice smoky look. You want to build it up. That's why we use Succubus in the first place. It's just to build up that nice intensity. So after you go in with the black, you know how much you have to apply and you don't overdo it so it doesn't look too heavy. And again, guys, you want to blend away. Blending is your friend with this look. The more you blend, the more natural it looks. For my eyes, I'm also going to be using a shade from the Tarte, Tartlet Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. The shade I'm going to be using is called Candle. And it has a little bit of shimmer. It's not too overpowering. 
it's just going to be perfect. I'm going to be applying this on the corner of my eye to create a catch light because I love getting to have a smoky eye, but I love adding that nice, sexy um, staple, that sexy look to it. And once again, I'm using my number 18 brush to create this. I don't want a brush that is going to be too big or too fluffy. I just want something that will press on that pigment. To create a little bit of dimension under my eyebrows, I will be using the color Sunrise. And this is just going to get to give me that nice, hydrated, sculpted brow look. To do the tight lining on my eyes, I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Beauty Highliner Gel Eye Cryon Eyeliner in the color Blacker. Um, it is a very, very intricate step. However, it is not impossible, guys. Just make sure you're not looking into the direction that you're applying this eyeliner and you're going to be just fine. It's a very easy step. So blink as much as you want. Take your time. Just relax. It makes the look flow all together and it makes the eyes look extra smoky. I'm also going to be applying this under my eyes as well on my waterline. This is a waterproof pencil, guys. So this is going to last all night. And even if you apply it in your um, waterline, this is not going to smear, smudge, or transfer anywhere. To tame my lashes and to give them curl, I'm going to be using the Dior, Dior Show Iconic Over Curl Mascara. This mascara is ultra black. It is beautiful. It gets to volumize your lashes. It gets to give you that nice volume and it also gets to curl them. I love it because before applying lashes, it just gets them ready to blend right in with whatever lash you put on top. These are the Velour Lashes. They're called Luminous Lash Collection. And the model I'm using is the Midnight Cherish Lash. These lashes have a glitter band. For my application, I'm using the Duo um, Eyelash Brush on Glue. Also, a tip that I love giving when applying lashes, don't close your eyes. If you close your eyes, your eyes get smaller and it will be very uncomfortable. So make sure you're looking in front of the mirror and you're applying them with your eyes open so those lashes get to be very comfortable throughout the night. Pinch, pinch, making sure my lashes blend all together with the fake lashes. Those, and that look has upgraded. Look at how those lashes look. Yes. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. This is one of my favorite shades because it's warm and it just gets to look very, very natural. And my lips look plump with this shade. I'm obsessed. I put a little bit. And also, if you want to create that nice rounded lip, start applying it from the end of the lip towards the top. And get that cupid's bow and define it real good. For my last step when it comes to makeup, I will spray once again my Caudalie Beauty Elixir Water. I'm telling you guys, this is a must-have. This is perfect for the skin. It gets to give you that nice hydrated look. I love reapplying it throughout the day. It smells beautiful too, so I love it. Let's talk about some hair. The product I'm going to be using for my hair today is the IGK Beach Club Texture Spray. This spray does not contain any salt. So it means it won't dehydrate your hair. It will give you that nice beachy texture without the dryness. And this product, I just spray it all over my hair. I make sure that I go and I lift up my hair so it gives me that nice volume and definition, but it still gives me texture. And a little bit goes a long way, guys. You don't have to um, soak the whole hair. Just take a little bit and work it in. And you cannot finish any look without a fragrance. The one I'm using today is the Kat Von D Sinner Other Perfume Travel Spray. This one I love because it just has that sexy, that um, warmth to it. It's just a very sultry fragrance as well. Let's get that hat on to finish my look because I do love my French girl hat. And I have some serious French vibes today. So let's finish it. I hope you enjoyed everything. Au revoir. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up. Also, if you want to see more of these videos coming, just hit subscribe. And let us know what you think in the comments. Give us love. Big hugs and kisses for you guys. Thank you so much. See you soon.